Today we're tearing down the Synapse Bone Conduction Hat. It's like a Bluetooth headset, but it uses bone conduction speakers to vibrate your skull instead of putting earphones in your ears. It's great for riding your bike because it doesn't block your regular hearing, and we couldn't wait to check out the inside to see how it works. The two bone conduction coils sit inside the band of the hat, and the controls, microphone, and battery are in the brim. Here's Lady Ada to walk us through the electronics on the board. There's the main PCB and there's this really big battery. You need a lot of battery because these transducers are like little motors. They take a lot of current, more so than actual normal speakers. On the back, you've got some buttons for, you know, volume up, volume down, power. Um, there's a micro USB connector that's used to charge up this battery over here. And then you've got these little wires and that's how you can modularize and connect these bone conduction and um, microphone modules to it. On this side, uh, that's where we get most of the electronics. And actually, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's an all-in-one Bluetooth audio module. It usually has FCC certification, C certification ready to go. Um, it shows up just as a Bluetooth audio device They're using the HDP profile, and it just spits audio out. So that's it, you don't need a microcontroller, you don't need any processing power. Um, the audio goes out, and then there's a little amplifier board here that actually drives the transducers. So let's look at this in detail under the microscope. So starting from over here to the right, this is the battery connector and these are the little solder tabs and hopefully there's a plus sign. This is that audio module, so it uses an ISSC. It's probably some basic low cost audio module. There's a little bit of flash chip, a crystal. You can see this is just placed on and soldered in place. There's a little antenna over here that does the Bluetooth stuff. And you can look up this parts, probably under NDA, but um, it's, these tend to be an all-in-one, ready-to-go, you know, line audio out, microphone in. Um, this is probably protection circuitry and regulator from the LiPo battery over here. So usually this side would be pick and place, and this maybe this side is hand soldered. Just how it goes sometimes in manufacturing when you're using double-sided designs. This is an LM4863. Look that up, it's probably an audio amplifier board or a motor driver board from National. They make good linear stuff. A dual color LED, you can see there's four pins, that's how you know it's dual color. And then hot glue to protect the connections to these little mini wire connectors that go to the conduction modules. You can see the coiled magnetics and it just vibrates uh, just like a speaker coil would vibrate, but in this case, it you know you can press it up against something, and this is actually magnetic, so you can press it up against something, and it will vibrate the base to create an effective audio. So these use a little bit more power than a speaker, and when you touch them, especially to uh, your ear bones or your skull, uh, it'll turn your skull into the cavity of a speaker, so you can sort of hear from inside of your head. Here's the little microphone. Oh, oh. Minty, minty microphone, little teeny guy, kind of a standard electric mic. Small, but you know, for uh, basic audio, just voice range, probably works fine. For this and many other teardowns, we're using the Adafruit USB microscope with its articulated stand, the official vision system of wearables teardowns here at Adafruit. And if you've got a device you'd like to see us tear down, post it up in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more Wearable Wednesdays.